Welcome to the VB Toolbox. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to write information to a file and save it on your hard drive. Um, you can use this to create all sorts of files. In this tutorial we'll probably just be covering uh, text-based files. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in by creating a new project. This is for Visual Basic.net. I'm using the 2010 version. Uh, if you're using Express that's just fine too. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a new project by clicking New Project, and we'll select Windows Forms Application, and we'll give it a name. I'm just going to call this one My File Writer, and select OK. And we get our default form here, and we'll go ahead and stretch that out just a little bit. And we'll start by adding a text box for uh, typing our information into that we want to store to our files. So let's go ahead and uh, find our text box. Control, if you cannot see your toolbox on the left here, you can go to View and select uh, Toolbox from the list. Um, to add the text box, just drag it onto your form or double click it. And we'll get a new text box here. Let's set this uh, text box to multi-line by going to your properties dialog on the right here below your solution explorer. Uh, scroll up until you find multi-line and set that value to true and that will allow us to stretch this text box out. Alright, uh, one other control we want to add is a save button. Go ahead and just add that and we'll go down to the caption text here in the properties of the button and let's just call that save and let's rename the button to CMD for command button and then save alright well that was pretty easy uh, one other thing we'll want to be able to do uh, we don't absolutely have to have this if you have a static uh, file path that you want to use but I like to be able to just uh, have a file browser that I can save my files from so let's go ahead and add a save file dialog from our toolbox go down to um, let's see dialogs save file dialog again you can just double click that and it'll add it to your application uh, if we select this, uh, we can change the name to something a little more friendly and short here. We can just call it SFD for Save File Dialog and um, SFD Write. How about that? Or Writer. <laughs> okay, and let's see, what do we want to change on here? Let's go ahead and set uh, our filter to text files. I'm going to say text files and if you add a bar here um, when we do our save as dialog it will filter it by text files so uh, it doesn't limit us to text files we can do other stuff as well so our filter is star.txt and you can give it a default file name of star.txt as well uh, let's see anything else we want here I think that'll do for now all right, so now we'll jump into our form designer. Um, you can double click on your form here if you want. Uh, we probably won't be using the form load event, so we can just get rid of that. Uh, let's go ahead and create uh, a variable to store our stream writer. Um, actually, before we do that, we want to import the system.io library so we can access our file stream objects. Say imports system.io. That gives us access to our stream readers and file stream writers and things like that. So then we'll just add a variable to store our st stream writer. Let's say sw as stream writer. And with that, we can actually write to our file system. Okay, so um, I'm going to jump back to my form here, and we'll go down to our command button, and we'll just double click that to generate a click event. I'll tidy that up a little. Um, 
And when we click this, what we want to happen is we want our save file dialog to actually show up. So I'm going to say sfd writer dot show dialog. That causes our dialog to come up and ask us where we want to save our file to. All right. Next up, we want to have um, the file OK event set on our um, save file dialog. So we'll come back to our uh, form editor here and uh, just double click on your save file dialog. And this is where the magic's going to happen. So what we're going to say is if uh, SFD writer dot file name is not blank, then we'll create a new instance of our stream writer. So we'll say SW equals uh, new stream writer. And then it's going to ask us for a path that we want to uh, write the file to. And the path that we're going to use is the one um, that is generated when we select our file, uh, our file name in our save file dialog. So we'll say sfd writer dot file name and we do not want uh, want it to append to the file we want to create a new file so what we'll say is false here and now we're going to parse out our um, information that's in our text box whatever we type in here we kind of want it to show up in our text file the same way what I'm going to do is um, break it by line so every time you hit enter um, it will drop down and write a new line uh, so what we'll do is we'll loop through the information in there by splitting that string uh, by enter or uh, carriage returns so every time a new line is generated when you hit the enter key in your text box uh, it will split by that I'll show you what I mean here so we'll say for each line as a string in split txt oh we didn't give our um, we didn't give our box a name here let's come up to this and call it uh, txt write name that so we can reference it all right then we can jump back into our form and say txt write dot text so whatever text is in that box we're going to split and because uh, you can't just uh, you know write enter key here um, the ASCII return code for uh, enter or carriage return on your keyboard is character number 13 and if you want you can actually go out and look at a ASCII chart if you google that or something uh, you'd be able to actually see what all the character values for each key on your keyboard is so anytime it sees a line feed or a carriage return in the text field, uh, the text box, it's going to drop down and create a new line. And then what we're going to do is use our stream writer to write a line to a text file. Uh, so the value or string that we want to write for each line is just going to be line that we created here. So this will return a text string for each line that we have in this text box and then write it to text file. And when we're done what we want to do is close that stream otherwise it keeps the file locked in memory and uh, can cause errors if you run it again. So say uh, streamwriter.close piece of cake. Alright, so let's give this a test and see what happens. I am going to run my application and I will type something. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hello everyone. How are you today? It sure is good to see you here. And I can't type. Oh, gotta add that. Please subscribe. Thank you. That's a lot of exclamation.
exclamation points. All right. So I'm going to hit save, and I should get my save file dialog. And there it is. All right. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop real quick. Let's say I'm just going to call it hello.txt. And then I'll hit save. And if this works, I should be able to open that file. And look at that. Everything that I uh, typed in my text box has been written to a notepad document. Now, you don't just have to write text files. You can save really any kind of data. Um, you know, you can even write uh, all, you know, binary files, uh, all sorts of different stuff to files. So, um, here's another example, uh, just for fun, since, you know, that pretty much covers uh, what I wanted to show you. I mean, it's very simple to write a file to your hard drive. Um, what if we wanted to uh, use this to create a web builder or something like that? You could uh, actually create an HTML file. Um, so we'll just do that for fun. Uh, if you want to stick around and watch, I'll just do this real quick. So here's a quick HTML file. So let's say head, uh, title, hello everyone in title and head drop down get the body drop down again close the body tag uh, let's let's even set a little uh, CSS style in here I'm going to say style equals um, background color black and font color will be white. And we'll see if this works. Welcome to VB Toolbox. Add some easy tags here. Please share and subscribe. All right, so we'll save this to our desktop again, and this time I'm going to call it, um, um, I'll just call it test.htm. So we're going to actually save an HTML file and see if it will load in our web browser. All right, bring up Firefox here. Look at that, it's working beautifully shows our uh, title in the title bar and uh, have a web page so you know we could actually save a CSS file cascading style sheets right in there with it if you're into that sort of thing you could even add image tags or anything else you wanted to make a full web page designer um, all sorts of fun stuff that you could do with this but that's just sort of a taste of uh, what we can do uh, you can also actually uh, create files with um, compression, and I may do that in a more in a, another advanced tutorial. So uh, it's kind of fun to learn. Anyway, I hope that this has been helpful to you. Uh, if you like it, uh, please subscribe or share it with anyone that you feel would.